Hello friends, I hope you are well. In this video, I want to share with you how to use the tool called Cloud Vision. This is a tool from uh, Google, and this is the tool that is used in order to analyze uh, the thumbnail. You know the thumbnail, um, that's the, the, the small picture that you will see here. So when you upload one of your video uh, into YouTube, then uh, you have to add a picture, and this is the one that people will see, and based on this picture, people will click or not on your video. So this is, uh, this is very important if you are a YouTuber or if you want to become a YouTuber, but what you sh should know, and uh, I mean, it took me time to know it because I didn't know the existence of this, uh, of this tool, is that the picture that you upload will be analyzed by a tool called Cloud Vision from Google. This is an artificial intelligence tool and it will try to understand uh, everything on your picture. So you can use it for free. I will add a link uh, uh, of this uh, Cloud Vision uh, in the description of the video and also uh, with my website where there are plenty of resources if you want to um, uh, do uh, any uh, digital business you may be interested in. So how does it work? So you just arrive here, okay, and then you drag and drop your, um, your, your uh, picture, okay? So for example, I just drag and drop one of them, whatever, okay, for example, that one. Okay. Okay. Then you have to click here. I'm not a robot. And then it starts to analyze. Okay. I did this exercise with a uh, with couple of my of my thumbnail. And actually you can see so the result of the analysis. Okay. So first you can see if it recognizes the face. Then what are the objects that has been recognized by the AI? What are the, the label? Then the text very important because uh, this will be used in uh, to with the hashtag and the search engine optimization the seo so if you put some if you add some some uh, some brand name or some hashtag this is very important to make sure that it has been uh, analyzed proper, properly by the algorithm by the google algorithm then the properties the dominant color and the safe search you can see if um, Google will uh, spot some issues with your with your thumbnail, for example, adult spoof, medical violence, or racy, and it will show you if it's likely, very likely, very unlikely. So that's very very important because based on that, this will trigger also some uh, some deeper analysis if um, Google has suspicion about your uh, your thumbnail and the content of your video. So. I did the exercise for a couple of my uh, of my um, of my thumbnail. For example, that one. Let me show you. You know, uh, so that the face, and you will uh, try to understand what is uh, the um, if it's like a joy, sorrow, anger, surprise, exposed, blurred, etc. So if you recognize some uh, something that you try to express with your face. Okay, so it, so unfortunately here you see that it, it hasn't recognized anything. Okay, I show you another one. Okay, so this one, for example, I show the face, and he has recognized that this is a very very surprise face. I want to express a surprise. The thing is, um, it's not the surprise that I try to express, I try to show with my face. This is more like um, a questioning. I was wondering about something was uh, an interrogation well okay let's let's check another let's check another one this one nothing this one look at that look at this beautiful face okay so the face i was actually scared or disappointed and we show the surprise i don't think it has all the personality uh, criteria yeah all the feeling that you can express, you know, I don't think uh, it's working very well anyway. Okay, so what, what is very important is, for example, here I give my review, I give a review of something. This is like um, a brand and you have to make sure that the brand is correctly spotted. So for example, here you can see it's correct. Okay, so that's fine for the search for the SEO. This is perfectly fine. If I check the first one, which is also you see Peerberry here, maybe you know about it. This is a platform. Um, um, a peer-to-peer -peer platform, peer-to-peer -peer lending platform. You can check here, Peerberry, great. It has been found, okay. Even the language has been found. And here, 
yeah, you can see, you can, you can, you understand that this is this is French and this is English. Amazing, man, amazing. Let's have a, so this one, fine. What language? French, French, perfectly. So it's perfectly classified. It will be organized greatly, okay? And proposed to people who may be interested in this kind of video in French and interested in the if they type. If they, if they search for Livre P, for example, here. And it's not always easy because you see the font is not, uh, is not perfect. I mean, it's like uh, I put the logo of the company, so it's, uh, it's not necessarily easy to understand that, for example, this one is a P. Okay, let's, let's check another one. For example, this one, Terraland, Terraland. So let's see if it find. So Mon Avis here, correct, correct in French. And Terraland, so this looks good. This looks very, very good, amazing. It's quite good. Huh? I mean, uh, let's let's have a look at this one. And this one not easy because you see, I put the the I had the logo. It's gray. It's very not easy to see. Okay. And then this is French. This is perfectly understood. Okay. And here you can see, yeah, there is upstone here. Okay, so that's correct. But there is a, a, an S here. So you also recognize an S. But actually, this is not meaningful. And it should, uh, you see, this is just like US for Upstone for this comp for this company, but the company is called Upstone. I, I hope because of the space, I think you understand that this is a, this is a company. Let's see if it's French. I think he didn't understand the, the language. Anyway, so he can connect, you know, those those um, what is inside your your uh, your thumbnail, the information inside, and what people will search for. Okay, of course, there will be a other way to do it. For example, in the description of the video, you can add hashtag, you can add keywords, you can add description that will be um, that will that will confirm actually what the thumbnail is, is showing. So everything has to be consistent and then the ranking will be even better if everything is, uh, is consistent. OK, so you can try with your uh, with your thumbnail. I think the most important things to, uh, to, to, to remember is to make sure to use a font that is not too crazy, not too exotic so that uh, so, so that uh, Google um, Cloud Vision is able to understand it. And to uh, and also, I think it's very important to, to to check if the filling are correctly recognized. And the the last thing is to see if there is a safe search or not. If he uh, recognize, you see, sometimes it's completely wrong. I, I show you, I show you one. I think he, he, he think that it's spoof possible. You see, I have someone with a very likely uh, spoofing. <laughs> I don't know why. For example, look at this one. This one is supposed to be spoof, but it's not spoof at all. I I I, I swear it's not spoof. So uh, that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, bye bye.